learn to, let me say this, may God bless us, may God show us mercy, may God give us what we desire, things that aren't wrong. Okay, let me get to my point. Learn to appreciate what you have. I believe we can complain about this and that. For instance, I am not going to give so much detail, but um, I believe at a point of time pertaining to a particular thing, I think that is good to say. I believe I was seeing more of the bad than the good, or maybe I was placing more emphasis on the bad than the good. But now, and maybe before, I don't know. Yes, maybe sometimes before, but let me say it like this now. There may be bad things. But the good overflows the bad. I hope this is making sense. You may have prayed for something and God may have given you, in a sense, what you wanted, but there may be bad things in it. So you may look at the bad more than the good. So in a sense, probably not appreciating what you have. Let me tell you this. You may complain about something day after day after day after day, but let's say you were to lose it. Maybe then you would probably see the benefit or the, can't really think of the word, let me use, you may notice the benefit that you had when you had it. So why lose something, then be appreciative of it, if that makes any sense. So while I have it, I don't appreciate it. But once I lose it, then I appreciate it. Man, I wish I had this back, that back, blah, 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 back. Why do we have to lose something to appreciate it? You may have a car. That car might be so ugly. Like the paint may be really messed up. Like the car may be very loud. Like it may stink. Uh, the seats may be torn. But, and you may complain about it, like, man, you know, I don't like this car. I wish I had a better car. But what if you lose it? Now you have to walk. Now you have to catch the bus. Now you have to call around asking for rides and maybe pay more money than you would when you had that car. So now, yes, that car may have been messed up, but now you want that car back. Now 
you appreciate that car now that it is gone. Why are we like this? Why can't we see the worth, not saying in every case, but in general, why can't we see the worth of something while we have it? Why do we have to wait until it is gone to appreciate it? How foolish are we? How ignorant are we? Honestly. God may be giving you things. Yes, you know, it may not be top class. But appreciate what you have. Let me stop here. May God bless you.